two ideal gases are held in two containers A and B. A has five moles of helium gas. B has seven moles of neon gas. A has three times the volume of B and half the pressure of B. The molar mass of helium is four grams per mole, while that of the neon gas is twenty grams per mole. Find the ratio of the temperature T A over T B. PV equals to nRT, and we want the information about temperature, so we can solve for the temperature T equals to PV over nR. Since the R, the gas constant, is a constant, so we can say the temperature is proportional to PV over n. Therefore, the ratio of T A over T B would equal to the PV over n for A divided by the PV over n for B, and this will give us the pressure of A is. Half the pressure of B, so this is half PB, and the volume is three times the volume of B. The number of moles for A is five. The number of moles for B is seven, and the pressure is PB. The volume is VB. So this will give us the PB and PB, VB and VB cancel. In the numerator, we have three tenths. In the denominator, we have one seventh. So this will give us twenty-one divided by ten, and that's the answer. To solve this problem, we did not have to use the molar mass at all. Now let's try another problem. Two ideal gases of the same temperature are held in two containers C and D. C holds hydrogen gas, and D holds nitrogen gas. C has twice the number of moles of D and five times the pressure of D. The molar mass of hydrogen is two grams per mole, while that of nitrogen is twenty-eight grams per mole. Find the ratio of the densities. Rho C over rho D. Density is mass divided by volume. So we need the information about the volume, and we can use PV equals to nRT. Since we need information about volume, we can solve for the volume, which is nRT divided by the pressure. The R, the gas constant, is the same for both, and they also have the same temperature. So we can say the volume is proportional to the number of moles divided by the pressure. And we know that the mass is the number of moles times the molar mass. So, the mass here is the number of moles times the molar mass, which is two grams for C. And then this is the number of moles times the molar mass that will be twenty-eight divided by the volume. The volume can be represented by Number of moles divided by the pressure. The number of moles divided by the pressure. The pressure for C is five times the pressure of D. So we can say the pressure of C is five times the pressure of D. And then divided by the volume of D can be represented by the num number of moles of D divided by the pressure of. I can certainly plug in number of moles for C as twice the number of moles of D, but I don't have to because I have number of moles over here. They cancel, so I don't need to plug in the number of moles over there. So the PD, of course, cancels. We just have to simplify this thing right now. That's two divided by one fifth, and this is twenty-eight divided by one. So this will give us two times five divided by twenty-eight, which is five divided by fourteen. So this is the ratio of the densities.